Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about capacitor filter and it's working and it is one of the part of the power supplies. So after rectification we can understand the working of capacitor filter. <music> So far we have discussed about the power supplies and the block diagram of the power supplies that how each process is important while converting AC into DC. With the help of rectification process we converted our AC into DC but that DC was pulsating in nature. This was our input which is in a form of a AC. Now we get our output like this. This is our output, this is DC because it is not changing with respect to time or I can say that the direction is not changing that's why it is known as DC but that DC is pulsating in nature because we are getting pulses that's why it is pulsating in nature we are not getting output which is having less ripple still we are talking about ripple that it has some amount of AC portion to remove that rippleness in our signal or in our output we need such a circuit which can remove that ripple is known as filter. Filter can remove that ripple portion from the output it also gives us the smooth DC that is steady DC which we actually require for our circuits like TV, radio or any low voltage circuit they always require a DC which is sturdy DC or a smooth DC or having a less ripple. We don't want any ripple in our circuit. So in order to reduce ripple we go for filter. Now filter can be divided on the basis of the type of element we are using in our circuit. If I am using capacitor in the circuit then that kind of filter is known as capacitor filter. If I am using inductor in the circuit then that kind of filter is known as inductor filter. Let us first look at the construction of the capacitor filter. One of the most interesting thing about the capacitor filter is that it is very easy to construct. This was our construction for the rectifier that we are getting a full wave rectification now in a parallel this is a parallel connection parallelly I am connecting a capacitor along with my load then it is working like a filter so we are adding one more process in rectification along with a filter by adding this capacitor I am able to remove the rippleness from my output now let us see how we can achieve this. As we know that when we are getting a positive cycle D1 will be in a on state and D2 will be in a off state and we will get some output. When we are getting output at RL the capacitor has some property that when the current is flowing through the capacitor it will charge. to its peak value. Let us say the peak value of the input signal is Vm, my capacitor will charge to Vm, the voltage across capacitor will be Vm. When the voltage, let us say this is my circuit, I am taking an example so that I can explain my point. This is our Vi and this is R, this is C. Input is supplying to this circuit. Capacitor will charge. Capacitor will charge to its maximum value that is Vm. Now I will remove this voltage. When I will remove this voltage, this circuit, still this circuit is connected. Now the voltage at this capacitor is high as compared to R then capacitor will start discharging. So what I can say that capacitor charge and then discharge. When D1 is connected with the help of this positive cycle it is in an on state what we can say that capacitor will charge. 
let us look at the output thus this is our output this is our output of the v naught and the voltage across capacitor is also same because they are in parallel so up to the peak value the capacitor will be charged when the voltage across the capacitor is low it will start discharge again it will charge then discharge charge and discharge this process will continue so what i can say that my output will be like this we are extracting the picking values this all the pick values so i can say that instead of getting the pulsating dc i am getting some sturdy dc this is what our purpose was that when we are getting this pulsating dc i can extract with the help of this capacitor i am able to extract out this peak values one more thing that the time constant is the factor very important factor for the capacitor time constant factor is defined with the help of the multiplication of resistance and capacitor the higher the time constant it will take more and more time to discharge and charge when i am saying that capacitor is charging it will take lesser time and during discharging it will take more time because of the time constant so what are the points to remember for the capacitor filter is that during positive cycle capacitor will charge during negative cycle capacitor will discharge by getting charging and discharging i am getting smooth dc and this is what our purpose was thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda